All right, let's uh, let's do another run though. This uh, this may very well be our last uh, before we before we take a look at Summoner's Fate. But starting with this is always the bad one. Um, and then I guess we have to just go hunting for Alchemist Fire. What a, what an abysmal, <laughs> what an abysmal draw. I'm going to hang on to two of them, because I think when we redraw, we're going to wish that we had them. Yeah. Get rid of you, you're doing the most damage, and then hang on to that. Right, looks like we're looks like we're finishing these two off though. There's no alternative. Okay. We will take that and let's get a Yeah, Stone Skin seems to be. Even though our runs haven't been going that well. I think stone skin remains very uh, valuable. Now, there's something you said for going with this because if we pick up that thunder or whatever, there's only so many places. So, okay, so let's start with upper left empty. I'm super curious as to how these, if these two just always end up perma mastered. It's a visual bug because it says we're gaining 12, but we're only gaining, we're gaining less than that. Uh, and then we're very, we're very likely to better take advantage of both of these. So I'm just going to send one at him. Most, yeah, most of our, uh, most of our stuff was was uh, offensive things. Okay, good stuff. And then we started with the upper left empty, if I recall correctly. So let's try the upper right. Bingo! All right, Thunderstone is an easy one to figure out early. That seems very useful. Get a hint on bug compound. We know we're going to need it for the final fight. Now, okay, I think we go to the shop first because when we go and shop for recipes, I think these become available to us now. And then... I think we probably have one too many of these. And then I'm going to shop for recipes, and I'm going to buy a hint for poison vial. And then now we're going to go here, and I'm going to see if I can master... Oh, I can master anything. I was thinking about mastering alchemist fire, but I think we master stone skin right off the bat. Let's do the event, see what we have here. We have a solitary well. Okay, last time we threw money into it, uh, nothing happened. We are too broke to do anything with it. Let's get our treasure for the floor. More po one extra poison damage versus 10 shield at start. I'll take 10 shield at start, but both of those are pretty bad compared to that other artifact we were getting that gives strength. 
Whoa. Hello. This enemy will disappear if the summoner dies. Okay. Uh. Uh-huh. So we have two small bombs worth, which is 18 damage. Which I don't think isn't, it's not enough. Um, wow, we can acid gas right now though, and that kills both of the minions. This is probably the for the best. And then we can just put the scale in and we'll only take four damage. That seems pretty good. All right, and then you're going to be spawning more, but we don't really care. Well, I can't roll the dice on Alchemist Fire right now, so let's just, let's just get rid of you. We need to make progress on Small Bomb anyways. We're probably going to keep using it. Okay. We'll take one Noxious Essence and... get Alchemist Fire down to a 50-50. All right, it's the big boy. I'm feeling diagonal this time. It was not diagonal. Oh, that's a bad, that's a bad draw. What do we have left to draw? We get one defend that way. I think we send them all. Don't know that, that was a very good plan. I think we're gonna get torn up by poison here. Wow. We are out of sync. All right, I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made last time. I'm just gonna... Really game? This is... Uh... We're at 25 poison right now. Um, is there any way we win? I think we have to... Well, we weren't going to do anything else, but I think, I think we're just dead. Yep. Looks like we're just dead. Hmm. That was not, not my finest work right there. I don't know what this unlock the world is, but we'll, uh, well, actually, let's, let's top that off and then get whatever else we can get here. All maps are revealed. Okay, so that's, a, that's the thing we have to get, apparently. Should have just quick restart. Because, uh, obviously this video needs, a needs another game to be at all meaty. <laughs> um... All right, I always pick the wrong one. Oh, oh. I feel like this is a bad one to start with. Um, and these, these are just conveniently small enough that We could get lucky with an alchemist fire, but even then that doesn't protect us. Um, which I guess we should, we should go looking for it. It wasn't diagonal last time. Let's try the opposite diagonal. Okay. 
We're okay now. The poison is ticking for a little. Okay, this wasn't this wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. But it's definitely not a good fight for uh for dragging one's feet on. Oh, they still attack before they flee? Oh, you have to kill them. Wait, what? Can I read this tooltip? This tooltip said we'll leave when the other thing is dead. All right. Well, I feel, uh, I feel robbed. Okay, that was weird. Um, let's, uh... Let's grab the money. So I have, I have a theory here. Let's get the first step towards stone skin. Always take the strength. The pearls seem... Worthless. We have 90 gold, which means we can remove three things. And now we're, we're sitting at nine now. I'm gonna go like insane thin deck meta here. Let's see what let's see what that does. See if see if this kills us. You're hitting for seven. Let's go for that. Perfect. So the, the idea with this one is to try to, uh, we did, we did that diagonal. Let's do this diagonal. Okay. The idea is to make our deck so consistent that we can't, uh, we can't fail. Jeez. Actually, I'll hang on to that. So I feel like we've tried like every combination here. We tried, okay, wait, we tried, we didn't try this one? All right, let's try this one. Hmm. Wait, we tried this. Oh, I see. Okay. And then we'll do this because we just want to master Alchemist Fire. But the idea is we want to get to a point where we can, like, super consistently generate a lot of shield and also get our stab on. Which I think I'm, I'm starting to coalesce around. So we take the money, right? I don't know. We need bug compound. Oh yeah, wait, the final boss is not thin deck friendly, is it? Discover a recipe and master it. We're already, stone skin we're already well on our way to. I think it's frag bomb. So this is this is where things get bad. Yeah. Well, I 
guess we have this, so it's not terrible. Okay, and then we can search for that thunder thing. Let's start with start with upper left and let's just work our way around. And then I think he's going to attack next turn. Uh-oh. That's not great. Well, we'll save this for next turn. Okay, we can make progress on Frag Bomb here. And we should pick up a blue to, to I was going to say to protect us, but what do we get? We're going to draw, we're like a 66% chance of getting blue. It's amazing how few things we've, uh, we've upgraded. So we started with upper right or upper left, now we're going to go to upper right to see if we can find the... find it, which we cannot. Mm. Take the transmute, and then... I'm already working on Thunderstone. I think we just, we're just going to need... we're going to need Bug Compound learned when we go into the end fight, because... I think we're gonna get we're gonna get punished. Okay, it's the vampire again. We'll go for that. We'll take the money too. We still don't know what the pearls do, but the game has not been kind to us in that regard. And then This is our deck right now. I don't think we can go any thinner. I mean, or do we, we just want to get it to the point where we always draw exactly the same thing? Hmm. So we could remove these two. Or is Alchemist Fire better? No. I, I don't know. I don't think I don't think we can necessarily do that. We don't have a way to take advantage of that, so I don't I think we just do the elite fight and just see. So this is the one remaining. There, it's this or there's one more. Okay, so it's lower right. We know that now. And then we can look for travelers, whatever. And we'll start out. We'll start out with this configuration. Really, game? Really? Big hit. Yikes. Um, oh, and this is pretty... Well, oh, these only shield for two. So we have to try and find the Traveler's Potion, I guess. Which is very unlikely for those. So. But I think we're going to go into the final fight really hurting. Which is, is not the end of the world. But.
Is this mastered yet? It's not. I think we, I think we still just do it though. Rock skin potion is mastered. Hold on, what's mastered? Rock skin and frag bomb. Okay, so best I guess to do a small bomb. Get that mastered. Okay, so three noxious essences. Let's get our recipe hint first, see what we're building towards. We already know Thunderstone. Let's get a hint for Poison Vial. Now, do we want three Noxious Essences? I think the answer is no. We're going for this thin deck thing, and it does not uh, it does not play well with adding a bunch of noxious essences. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slur it down to 100%, and we're going into a final boss that I think is specifically designed to counter this strategy, so this will be interesting. We are going to be able to heal a lot, I guess. Um, but I think I think that's where the the strength timer is gonna is gonna come in and kill us. Maybe we'll go fast enough that it won't matter. Ooh, this is a bad draw, though. Uh, oh, we got it! Nice. That's uh, that's good for the defend. That's gonna be that's good for the deck for sure. Uh, Really game? Okay, so we should we should use Traveler's mixture here. Okay, I think this is going okay. As long as I keep getting 20 health off of this, like, we can, uh certainly take a little bit of time and all we need to do is draw our two uh yep there they are wait wrong one bug compound combine and then we get the win off this okay
It was the smoothest we've done on this fight so far. Collect the pearls. Collect the artifact. And now the temptation. <laughs> I think we transmute. We could we could build some evasion in. We could take like two of these and let go of the rest and then use the rest to Okay, so here's what I think we do. When we take two of those, we transmute the rest. We get a hint for I'm not gonna have a thick enough deck for any of these, but maybe vampiric essence. Okay, so the problem is our deck is a little thicker now. Okay, we've, we've had some luck. Oh, wait, we get more slots too, though. We drew our whole deck. Oh. This guy does 23. I hate that. All right, so we're going to take a bit of damage, but we kind of do the same thing every turn, it looks like right now. All right, we have our soft lock, which we need to deal with. Where were we? We're ending our turn. Okay, and we, we cover this, so this is this is actually perfect. Um So I don't I don't know if this is uh this is the vision of the creator, but And then we'll get one of them killed, which should mostly oh that's that's very set. Oh, if I had used this, I think I would have gotten the kill, too. Alright, gotta pay more attention. Right, so we use this, which gives us strength. So now this should be a one hit. It is not a one hit. Okay, maybe that doesn't work the way I thought it did. Let me look at it. If used in a miscombination, applies two temporary strength to user. Okay, let's let's watch let's watch this again. So right now we're at plus three, but that's permanent strength. So I do that, we get the temporary strength. Still hit for nineteen though, and the temporary strength went away. Ah, seventeen. Okay, it was nineteen and seventeen. Got it. All right, that explains it. So, so strength is used, strength doesn't scale. So we need to be a little mindful of that. I don't like that they immediately get to act like that, I will say. Trying to decide if there's a better thing for us to be uh, going for here. Let's see, I think 
we there's no more optimal turn for us. We don't get more damage if we combine the shields with anything. So I think we just do that. Okay. Get one more of these. Yeah, let's get one more. Get a recipe hint for... Lesser Smokescreen Tonic is interesting. Lesser Strength Tonic? Gain 8 Temporary Buff. I want to find out what Evasion is, I think. Let's go to the event. We haven't done a second floor event. Okay, so this is this is interesting. Let's get the four preserved beetles, because they allow us to heal. And let's go to the shop and thin out our deck again. So we only need three beetles. And then we only need one water. Wait, where did all these horns come from? Uh-oh. Oh shoot, what was the what was the recipe for the strength potion? It only takes one horn. So I think we're gonna be taking those out as well. And I think this is our this is our setup, but I think it's going to be less reliable now. So. So here's where things get crazy. The beetles are going to heal us for 20 every round. Right? Yeah. And this defends us for 20 every round. And we have eight slots right now. What's our, what's our play here? We could get to a point where six of our slots were taken up by 20 defend and 20 healing every turn. Yeah, I think we do that. So I think we go goodbye, goodbye. We're just gonna do, we're gonna do less damage per turn, right? This is gonna be our damage dealing. And then this needs to go away. We don't need the strength. So now we're 100% reliable. Every turn, we're gonna get that going. Oh, we could see the Act 2 boss, too. I I really want to test this out just to see. Oh, good. It's the it's the dude that we that we can't ever kill. Uh how lovely. Okay, so every every turn we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to do this. Now, what's your deal? Enrage. Whenever this character takes damage, it gets 8 permanent strength. Okay, so for now, let's just not do damage to it. So discarding things that do damage was probably a big part of our uh, of our undoing last time. Now it's going to take us several rounds to get the job done on it at 17 per go, so it may just end up killing us anyways. Uh, But we tried. If we beat this guy, I, I consider him basically the, the final boss of the game.
we're we're plus forty per turn, so we've got we've got a little time. And if he doesn't do his multi-hit attack, that's uh that's good for business. Over halfway done, but the swings are going to get a little rough. Oh my gosh, he's sitting for 75. <sighs> okay, he's hitting for 99. Oh boy. I think we did I think we did it though. I'm really having a hard time imagining how you uh Oh maybe you maybe you counter him with a... Uh... So we can These don't matter. We just we just transmute them. Um Is anything better than what we have now? I don't think so. Let's find out what greater smoke skin screen is. Cause we could we could do one evasion every turn also. Four random reagents, four cracked skulls. Ignore. All right, let's see. Let's see how this one goes. Why did my favorites move? <laughs> okay, so our first hit was bigger. We should have used that. Uh, on the big guy. Oh wait, this thing scales up though, doesn't it? Okay, so after after we finish off this one down here, I think we I think we go after the big one because it was doing some buffing, and then I seem to remember it started scaling up later on. And now this one isn't going to be able to damage us unless uh, unless something drastic changes. What, how we change this. I think we just save up money and then get... But the reagents don't matter. This is why I think the things have to scale off of the reagents. That's my... No, we're technically at full, so that's a waste of a whatever. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe I should have went for this guy because the the little ones don't uh, don't scale, but this guy this guy scales. If we made it to the next act and got more space, we could add another black quartz, and that would be that would be beneficial. Because then we, we could have, uh, we could go for Thunderstruck for our third action. Okay, so the good news is this guy doesn't seem to scale endlessly like the Golem. I also wonder if Poison is the answer to the Golem, because you maybe you're not doing damage then. But after we get this big one down, we can just uh, quite boringly stall out on this until we have uh, all of the all of our health healed. Which honestly, I think is only two rounds. Oh, 
Also, I don't think any of these are elites. Does that mean we still have elites to deal with on this floor? If there's an elite fight that we uncover, I might just uh, I might just go for the boss out of curiosity. We get nothing for that fight. Uh, feels bad. Explorer's Mixture. Takes up six. Bottle Lightning. Deal 42 damage to target enemy. Give me a hint on that one. That seems very interesting. Okay, so yeah, so that's the elite. Did we do the resting circle? We could master bottle lightning. But could we could we swap up? Basically that would mean that we could if we didn't need the block, we could do bottle lightning instead. But that's going to do huge damage. I think that's worth it. Yeah, 48. There's probably a lot of situations where that's worth it. Uh, we have 80. We have 80 money. So, ideally, for this, we want a block that costs two. Well, let's let's check out the elite and hope that we haven't we haven't killed ourselves. Four. Player will draw four unstable reagents. Unstable reagents, if used in a misconfiguration or not used until end of turn, explode, dealing 10 damage. Okay, we don't care about that. That's good. Because we we are we are consistent. Now, it is also poisoning us, which is annoying. But yeah, we we use our entire hand, so we should be we should be good on this one. Oh, it's only planting bombs. Okay. So that means that means we win. I think. Yeah, okay, this is another fight where we would be taking an insane amount of damage for not having an exactly Perfect is the wrong, the wrong word for it, but, but yeah, this is, we are, we are the hard counter to this one. So if we wanted to use bottled lightning, we're going to need to figure that out in a second before, uh, before we finish this fight. So bottled lightning Bottle Lightning is 48 damage, and it requires two of those and one of these. So we'd want to get rid of one Scale Shard, ideally for another blue, so that every turn we could still do a stone, not a stone skin potion, but a... A rock skin potion. So we lose eight block per turn, but we up our DPS substantially. This bug has done nothing to us, but if we don't use up our whole hand, we'd take a just a mountain of damage. Not the most thrilling gameplay. Did we take damage there? Oh yeah, he's in for 30, 24 now. Uh, I should have used Ball of Lightning 
to finish this fight before we took the four damage, but I can do it next turn. So I use these. Hey, Shen, how's it going? We're we're currently attempting to break uh, break this demo. Uh, so far, so far, so okay. Boom. Okay, so we don't get offered the blue thing that we wanted. Necro Smith demo. No, I haven't. Now we could get another black quartz, but that's not what we wanted. Uh, we're gonna skip the artifact, and I think we just take the money. Let's let's do a recipe hint first, though. Acid cloud. We're not gonna do. Uh, brainstorm draught. Okay. Uh, Necro Smith. I'll definitely check it out. Brainstorm Drop probably is the the one that I would be most interested in. Ooh, draw three reagents that way. Interesting. Ooh, could we go infinite with that? Not without not without a blue thing. We're short a blue thing, uh, but we're done with this level, so I guess we just get to see boss number two. Okay, what do the chains do? Blocks two grid slots at random. Oh. Okay, interesting. Is that going to... I wonder if those are going to change every time. Yep, looks like, looks like we're going to get two blocked every other turn. Hmm. Okay, so we can still... I think we can still do everything, because I, I don't think there's any two slots it could block that would prevent us. All right. So I won't, I won't, si I won't guarantee it, but it looks pretty good for us right now. Unless he starts locking three slots, I think we'll be okay. He does seem to be scaling up, though. So there, there's always the problem of... Oh, I should be using... I should be thinking more about using Lightning Bolt. Chaining... Binding. This character is applying a minor restriction. Blocks a grid slot. Blocks a grid slot. And then powering up. Okay, so this turn we should definitely... We can take... We can take Frag Bomb off. We can unfavorite Frag Bomb. Okay, we can't unfavorite Frag Bomb for some reason. Oh, we already have bottled lightning on the on the list. No, we don't. Okay, so bottled lightning just means we can't defend. No, we can defend a little. Okay, but we're at the halfway point, so hopefully. Okay. Same, same, same. I really want... Hold on, can I just... That is unfavored everything. The favoriting is a little glitchy right now, it looks like. Like, I can't... Like, Frag Bomb is stuck on there. What? <laughs> what is going on with this, uh, with this favoriting? I want, I want Bottled Lightning and Bug Compound and Stone Skin Potion. Can I get those all here? Yeah, okay. Weird. So, again, I'm, we're getting chained and we're getting power upped. Oh, but we can't Bottle Lightning because of the... because of the locking. Got it.
awful. Oh, yeah, okay. Lots of things locked now. I see what you did here, game. So let's see, we can do... Can we do an... Al we can't do an alchemist fire, really? Okay, we can do an alchemist fire, which will get rid of the small dude. And then we can do a stone skin potion to mitigate some of the damage. Alright. Spicy. We can't do lightning again because the game knows too much. But we should be able to do all of our normal stuff. This is a cool mechanic, though. I, I like it. Now, we should be able to lightning this time. It means we don't defend. 8 by 3, I don't think that's terrible. And it does almost half his life and damage. Okay. 8 by 4, I'll probably defend this one, because we can't... I don't... Uh, can't we lightning? Hold on, we actually can lightning, can't we? And then technically, we could find out how exoskeleton works as like a, a weight as an alternative. But I, I don't think we need. We'll just get a hint when we have the opportunity to. Okay, this one's all over. Start with the heal. If the crafting grid gets larger after we beat this dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna laugh pretty hard. There uh, there are limits. <laughs> Game. This might also be the end of the demo. Ah, it is the end of the demo. Nice. Very nice. Cool. So that was uh, that was. What was what was the name of this game? <laughs> Alchemia? Yeah, we, we ended up having a pretty degenerate deck. Uh, but we did 100% of everything. It does look like there's one more zone called the Ruins of Bygone Knowledge. Uh, yeah. And we get to unlock a few more things. Start each battle with six temporary buff. Don't know why that's showing quartz there, but that's okay. All right, so that uh, that does it for uh, for me for Alchemia. What was that? That was a fun game, fun uh, fun little demo. So let's uh, let's switch over here.